Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Marnie Blunt. In recent years, there's been signs of the effects of climate change around the world. And here in the Peace region, it may be having effect on precipitation levels. But despite that, Dawson Creek's water supply is in good shape thanks to a new project and some conservation efforts by Dawson Creek residents. Signs of climate change are showing here in the Peace region. In the last three years, there have been changes in temperatures and precipitation levels. And while this year is an exception, they're seeing the most change in the timing of the spring melt, which the city's watershed coordinator has been watching closely. About five years ago, that was happening in May. So either the first or second week of May, we would get our peak runoff event. And over the last three years, we've actually seen it shift earlier throughout the season. What that means for us is we're getting our spring runoff earlier, which means we won't have as much water for as long of a period of time going into our summer months. She says climate change could also play a role in extreme weather events like floods and droughts. Climate change that could affect us is the change in magnitude of events, so how large, say, a flood or a drought is, and the frequency. So we'll probably see something that maybe was a 1 in 20 year flood become maybe a 1 in 10 year flood. Over the past six years, Dawson Creek has seen two major flooding events and two droughts. Modishaw has been monitoring these trends closely. So it's just um, a matter of knowing what's coming so we can start to manage the system a little bit better so we can provide water for everyone for the long term. But even with the recent floods and droughts, Dawson Creek's water supply is doing quite well. In 2008, Dawson Creek City Council set a goal to reduce water consumption by 20% by the year 2020. And the city reached that goal by 2016, four years earlier. Modishaw says a lot of that can be attributed to water conservation measures by Dawson Creek residents. I think it's a celebration. It's something that we can be very proud of as a community because even though we've seen maybe an influx in population or shadow population from industry, we're still meeting our targets. Industry development has caused water consumption to rise this year, but overall the community is in good shape when it comes to water supply and conservation. Provincially, um, compared to other municipalities, our use per person per day is down. But in saying that, we definitely do feel the pressures of our community getting busy again. Uh, the start of January, we definitely seen our water use increase significantly as a result of uh, industry picking up around Dawson Creek. Another recent project will also help with water supply. A new raw water reservoir, which was approved by Dawson Creek City Council this spring. The reservoir will be 1 million cubic meters of raw water storage. Um, the beneficial component is, is it just really gives the city of Dawson Creek that resiliency in regards to water storage and that off-river supply. Um, if there was ever to be any type of issue with our source, whether it be environmental, uh, for example, a landslide or a contamination or even drought, um, this will now, coupled with our existing reservoirs, give us three quarters of a year's worth of storage off river. The reservoir will also help with the effects of climate change. If our population continues to grow um, at the pace it does, we will have water for much longer periods of time. Um, we also have a lot more storage. So if the Kiskatna River starts to drop because we're in a drought period, it allows us to have a little bit more of a buffer. Construction on the $8 million project has already started and is expected to be complete in 2017. Marnie Blunt, CJDC TV News, Dawson Creek. And there are several ways for people to join in on water conservation in Dawson Creek, including having rain barrels and having low flow fixtures in your household. For more information or to order a rain barrel, you can contact the watershed coordinator at 250-784-3600.